Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to use the infinite symmetry glitch. So first we jump into either the space plane hangar or into, or into the VAB. Doesn't really matter which one. For this tutorial I'll just use the VAB, but it works in both cases. The reason I pick the VAB is because it has radial symmetry by default, which you will need for this symmetry glitch. Okay, so let's start with any part that has uh, surface attachment nodes, preferably cylindrical parts, as it's easier to place things around them. Then you want to place any part that has enough space to place some other parts on it. I usually do this with a truss because it is very easy. Uh, place this in one way symmetry and then alt click the part and then place it on that part but with any symmetry that you want for this KF example I'll just use the eight way symmetry now you can place this selection with eight way symmetry and you can see where we're going with this now you can alt click the well the detachment and then you can hover it over it so that it in 64 way symmetry and then without hovering it over the root part like this you will have to m um, make it align with the central tank in the middle like that and then you have 64 way symmetry now let me just remove this the nice thing is now I'm in 64 way symmetry anything else I place will be in 64 way symmetry uh, this is a bad example because it doesn't have surface attachment nodes. There you go, in 64 way symmetry. Now the nice thing is, if you start at something like 64, you can work your way down to the exact symmetry you want. For example, if I press Shift X, I'll decrease to 63, and then 62, and then 61, and so forth, until you end up at A way symmetry. Would by then it will reset to the default symmetry way also by pressing X you will reset it to 1 so do not press X only press shift X that is the tutorial on how to use the symmetry glitch I hope you have enjoyed this video and I wish you good luck building fun stuff with it